Well, new tonight, another example of insurance companies changing the way you pay for prescription drugs. In some cases, the idea of a copay is going away. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts with a switch that could have you paying more. I take it every morning. The label warns he shouldn't skip a day. It can have very serious side effects. But like many, Carrie Edgell may soon not have a choice, as most insurance companies are changing the way they pay for your prescriptions. My copay had gone up from $45 to $226 and change because they had moved the medication from Tier 3 up to Tier 5. Until recently, insurers generally had one set copay for generic drugs and another for brand name drugs like carries. But last year, most added yet another tier or category called specialty drugs. And along with a new category comes a new cost to consumers. Instead of paying a copay, insurers are now charging a percentage of the total cost of that specialty drug. That's five times the original uh, cost. And some insurers are now moving even seemingly common brand name drugs into the new specialty category like carries antidepressant. Insurers point to the skyrocketing price of specialty drugs as a catalyst for the move, arguing if they don't pass the cost on to the enrollees who use them, they'd have to raise premiums and co-pays for everyone. But many believe that'll happen anyway. It's something that affects everyone, whether you take the drug personally or not. Healthcare advocate John Roth points to the increasing cost of specialty drugs, like the $1,000 a pill hepatitis C drug, Savaldi. He blames drug companies for charging exorbitant fees, but the drug companies counter they're simply recouping their research and development costs. Well, the United States is unique in that we don't bargain with the drug manufacturer uh, to get a more reasonable cost, and just about every other country does. Policymakers across the country say they are working to address the high price of prescription drugs, but in the meantime, that's no consolation for those like Carrie who need their medication now. You know, the way costs are going, they expect costs to go up, but not five times. Now, most insurers do have financial assistance programs for low-income enrollees, and many drug companies also have programs that will supplement the cost of high-priced prescriptions. You just have to ask. Kerry didn't qualify for those, though, because he's on Medicare. However, a cheaper generic form of his prescription is expected soon, likely the reason the cost recently skyrocketed. Julie Watts, KPIX 5.